Hello, I'm Terry here with my first ranked commentary on Yasuo. In these ranked commentaries, I just want to update my guides and do them as kind of a follow up where if something changes during a patch uh, for a champion that I made a guide for, I can just explain the changes and maybe uh, explain some gameplay changes and also talk about my playstyle in ranked games. So maybe you have some uh, evidence for how I play the champions after I make the guide and so that you see the full game, how I play it. I will speed up some parts that are boring and will slow down the parts that are important, maybe where there is action. Uh, I'm First of all, I already recorded this thing once and I just forgot to press the record button on uh, Sony Vegas and I'm a freaking idiot for it and Ah, God, I hate it, <laughs> but I hope I can cover everything that I wanted to cover before and I talked for 10 minutes straight and God, I'm mad. But anyway, so this is a uh, ranked game on my Smurf uh, tabby. Uh, it's Diamond 3 or Diamond 4, I'm not sure at the moment. It got demoted from Diamond 3, I, yeah, I, I didn't play in it for quite some time since so I played on my main account, but now I'm playing this one to Diamond 1 again. And basically, I'm playing Yasuo mid lane against Talon. Talon is one of the hardest counters to Yasuo. And usually, you should never lose a lane as Talon to Yasuo. The only mistake that this Talon here made was... I'm sorry for the noise in the background, that's my dog walking. Um, the only mistake that this Talon made is buying Doran's Blade instead of uh, Flask plus Health Potions. So he was out of mana and that was the point where I was able to out damage him and out trade him and finally get the first blood or second blood. I can't remember uh, which one it was. Other than that, uh, I also take Exhaust and Flash on Yasuno instead of Ignite or Heal or Barrier. Uh, Someone in Korea started this, I guess, since everything in League of Legends comes from Korea. I, I saw it in Korea, at least. And I tried it out, and it's actually amazing, since all the matchups that Yasuo would usually lose, uh, he goes even with Exhaust. Every, anything that could burst him down usually uh, just can't, and you are able to survive and maybe even get off your ultimate. And once you get off your ultimate with Yasuo, you know it's going on and you can kill some stuff and kill people. If you get bursted down though, uh, you can't do that, of course. So that's that kind of sucks, but yeah. So try it out, Flash Exhaust. It's really awesome, really good. And I feel like it's pretty strong. So that's the number one change. Number two, uh, Yasuo patch, uh, yeah, right patched Yasuo's E, so that you can stack it up to four times, only two times now. So everyone forget about the level one tactic with your E. It was risky before and it doesn't work anymore now, so just don't do it. Just start with Cuba and or with E if you want to go aggressive early on or push or whatever. I'd advise you to start with Q. Uh, then apart from that, uh, I also stopped building Blade of the Rune King. On Yasuo, since first of all it was bugged for a few weeks, so you couldn't get it off sometimes when you used your ult and just combo it, it just didn't go off. And I started playing with the Bloodfirster, and I really like the shield on Yasuo, it just gives you some more defense. Also, the bonus AD uh, increases your burst that you get from your ultimate, and also the increased lifesteal is really awesome. So try it out, I, I really like it and I even prefer it to Blade Rune King now. The only thing missing is the attack speed on it, but you can easily uh, solve this problem by just ch uh, changing a quint, uh, an attack speed quint for a lifestyle quint or an AD quint. So that you still get your Q on its max cooldown. Alright, that's, I think that's, that are, uh, that these are all the changes uh, for Yasuo at the moment. I hope I didn't forget any. I also think that there will be more changes to Yasuo since the community hates this champion. And I, I understand it. I'm not gonna dance around it. Uh, I, I completely understand why Yasuo is hated so much. I just feel like uh, when I see someone first pick Yasuo, I 
stomp him 90% of the time since he is not that easy to play in ranked when you play something like Akali or Rise and just completely out damage him and just kill him during laning phase and don't let him farm. But uh, I understand it completely and I'm pretty sure that there will be changes to his uh, shield passive maybe, maybe his uh, wind wall, that would be possible. Since, But I don't think they will remove his uh, double crit chance passive since Riot already talked about this and they won't change anything about that, at least for now. So that will stay. And yep, that's one thing. Apart from that, uh, I'm gonna talk about the gameplay here pretty soon since there will be one team fight that I want to touch on and that's pretty important. Uh, before we get to that, actually we're gonna get to it right now. So we see J4 going to the brush here and there's Volbear and any waiting for him. And he's gonna do a beautiful EQ combo on Tristana. I'm able to ult onto that. Now I will Windwall so that Tristana can't hit me for all attacks. I'm gonna start hacking away at any, then jump on the Tristan and uh, knock her up and do an auto attack. Since I have 50% armor pen, I do a lot of damage and I also have my Infinity Edge and Static Shift already. So I just destroy them and since I survived, that's an ace and a triple kill if I'm correct. <clears throat> One important thing during this fight was that I put down a pink ward. So, on the topic of pink wards, when you're playing against Akali, Talon or Kha'Zix, uh, pink wards are mandatory since they are a big counter to them and I even think the biggest counter to them. When Talon engages you, his only means of escape is his ultimate, but it's also a means of DPS. So he has to decide, is he going to use it for damage or is he going to use it to escape? And if you put down a pink ward, you don't allow him to escape. Uh, you don't allow him to ass assassinate anyone and it's just a great counter to him. Same thing for Akali. She has to stay in her bubble so that she can uh, maybe wait a bit, wait for another R stack so that she can assassinate someone again. If you put down the pink ward, she has no means of escape. You can burst her down. If we hadn't uh, pink ward in this fight, for example, we would have seen who he's going for, who he's gonna jump and we could have uh, reacted to that. Phil could have feared him. Morgana could have put a black shield on me, for example, so that I'm not silenced. Stuff like that matters. And remember that when you're playing against uh, Talon, Kha'Zix and stealth champions in general. <coughs> also, um, one thing I forgot to mention is that I buy Infinity Edge after Static Shift now. Since I feel like I do much more damage when I have to 100% crit. And... I just uh, said that, that Blade of the King is good since the active allows you to escape uh, tricky situations. I just play safer now so that I don't get caught and don't need the extra movement speed and the slow uh, uh, from Blade of the King. Uh, not slow, but movement speed increase. And this, uh, with my runes that I talk about in my guide, you will have 100% crit chance with Infinity Edge and Static Shift. So you'll do a lot of damage with those two items and we'll probably be able to one v on anyone. Alright, so um, this game also this game was uh, it, it should have never been so close. You can see it's 34 to 34 kills and the goal is pretty even. And the only reason why it came to that was that we allowed our enemy team to get the two barons before that. If you rewatch the game you'll see that since we all got caught out at some point and it just it did a wrong push. But if something like that happens, just remember, don't flame your teammates, just play for yourself, uh, just try to avoid mistakes. By the way, here I don't get a pink ward, I just got the updated red trinket, the upgraded one, so that I can see stealthed units and I'm able to see tail and finish him. But yeah, if someone makes a mistake in your team, just ignore it, play for yourself, dominate and stomp the enemy team. Alright, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this uh, ranked commentary. If you want to see more of that, uh, leave a comment. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys and see you next time.